Hi, I'm Joe. Let's get started. Okay, this video is about how to read your website statistics in your cPanel using AW Stats. Okay, so as you can see, I'm logged in. So log into your cPanel and follow along. Okay, so let's scroll down the page to the log section, which is over here. Click on AW Stats. On the next page, find the domain you want to check. Click on the little icon here. Okay, now on the left, uh, you can jump from one page to another, but for this video, we're just going to scroll down the page. At the top, it's the period. Okay, in this case, it's July 2012. Okay, the next thing here, unique visitor, that's fairly easy to understand. The number of visits, okay, the total number of visits means, um, okay, 233 visitors. Some of them visited the, your website more than once, and therefore you end up with 354 visits. For a total of page viewed, 1812, okay, that's fairly simple to understand too. Now the, the hits, okay, well, the hits mean, um, for example, say your home page has, uh, say, four files, okay, so every time somebody views your home page, means that four files are pulled onto someone's browser. In other words, it takes four files to make your home page, okay, so that's why this number is so high. Okay, some pages might have four files, others might have ten, others might have seven, it varies, okay? So that's all, you know, that's that's all it is for this one. Okay. For the bandwidth, okay, this these are the file size. Okay, say the four files are a total of eighty kilobytes, okay? So this is how this one works. Okay, it puts all the file size together and it counts them here. And below here in brackets, that's the average kilobyte that is used per visitor. Okay, that visits your site. Okay, now let's move on to the monthly history. Okay, this is fairly simple. It tells you how many visitors you have each month. Okay. Days of the month, again, very simple to understand. Every day breaks down the numbers of visits and so on. Days of the week, again, very simple. It even gives you, it even breaks it down by the hour, okay? Each hour of the day, you can actually see here what's, uh, like here, for example, um, 4 a.m., for one for some reason 121 pages were viewed you know take here say 13 14 15 3 o'clock in the afternoon 99 pages were viewed okay now here's what's really important here which country visits your website the most okay like in my case here Canada United States a whole bunch of other countries follows. You can click here to see a full list. Okay. Here you get a list of IPs, uh, IP address that visited your website. You know. If you see one that abuses it, that comes to your website too often and you wonder why or you worry about it, you can actually block it. Okay. And then authenticated users. If you have a password protected directory on your file, uh, on your website, okay, that somebody needs to enter a password to access it, the information will come out here, okay. Next are visits from robots, spiders, okay. So, you know, like uh, robots like uh, Google search engine, for example. It also shows unknown robots, okay. There's uh, MSN, for example, again. Okay. 
The next one here is the duration of your visits. 0 to 30 seconds, 30 seconds to 2 minutes, and so on. This is very good to keep an eye on. Okay. It tells you, you know, if, the, if they don't spend much time on your website, the, you might want to make some changes. These are the file type that are pulled in together when somebody views your website. Okay, PNG, it's graphic. HTML is if you have a static site. PHP or dynamic pages and so on. Okay. Here let's look at the page URL. These are all the pages viewed on your website. The forward slash means it's your home page. Okay, in this case, the home page is viewed more often than anybody else here. Okay, and it goes down the list again. You can click full list to see more. You can click the entry page, the exit page. Okay, and the next one are the operating system. Okay, the next one are browsers. Um, for example, Google Chrome, MSN Internet Explorer. These are the browsers that people use to visit your website. Okay, connect to site from. Okay, the first ones are search engines. Okay, the second one, link from an external page. That means somebody on this website here, for example, actually clicked on a link to come to my website. Okay, so this is pretty easy to understand as well. Okay, you have links on other websites. They click the link, they come and visit your website. Okay, so that has nothing to do with search engines. And here you get a list of keywords. Okay, keyword or key phrases here used to access your uh, your website, or I should say, use um, Google search. You know keywords to access your website and here are single keywords and then HTTP status codes okay 404 means uh, web page not found okay this would happen if you change pages often on your website if you delete a lot of pages create new ones and so on you'll see this um, here partial content for example means if a page download onto a computer but uh, it's missing an image or something like that you know which is nothing to worry about but uh, this is what, what this means and this is about it for AW stats uh, look around go through the pages uh, go through the panel you know one at a time and get familiar with it it's very easy to understand okay so thank you for watching and uh, hopefully this will help and uh, we'll see you in the next video.